In the following video, I'm going to show you how the House Bill 410 Calc handles College Credit Plus or CCP kids. I have two students I'll be working with, Richard Booker and his friend, Don Bradley. Uh, let's look at Richard Booker and I'm going to use the white triangle, go to his profile, go to his FS. He is a resident, takes CCP classes elsewhere part-time. He's 50% of time. Ascent to one has a PS for College Credit Plus program participant going to Sinclair and he's 50%. What the House Bill Calc does, it, it, add, it adds this 50% and this 50% and comes up with 100% of time. I'm going to show you my other student, his friend, Don Brad, Donald Bradley, he's the same thing, has 50% and 50% at Sinclair. Now, there's something unique about Don Bradley. I want to show you what I did. I have a miscellaneous alert up here because these two students really only attend one period. They're at home or college, wherever they're taking these College Credit Plus classes. If I click on that question mark, I purposely added this so I know he only attends period two, 845 to 925. So if my math is right, that is 40 minutes. He's only here 40 minutes a day. I also, here's another trick um, you can use to document this stuff. I've added custom fields to the profile and attend CCP, and I will go ahead and add um, 845 to, what did I say, 9, I forget already, I'm going to have to go up here and cheat. It was 845 to 925, 845 to 925, so 0925, and I'm purposely typing that and hitting tabs, because it automatically formats it and I don't have to mess with these clocks because I'm not a fan. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now why is that important? So let's go to their school absence page. So we'll start with Brad, Donald Bradley. So I'm going school, A, B, and the cheater and it takes me right to his school absence page. Looks like he was out today. And notice when I put this absence in, I put that he was out for the only period he attends, 8.45 to 9.25. And there's a reason I did that. Um, and remember, I put this up here so I could quickly remember what period it was. So now let's look at the other student, his friend, Richard Booker. And I just added a straight um, absence all day for him. I didn't put a time in and time out. So here's what happens when the house bill calcs for these two students. So I've forced the house bill calc and I'm going to run my one of my favorite reports. I'm going to go to the analytics hub and it's this daily absence detail. I'm going to open the attendance folder and I actually have this one gold starred. And when you gold star report, it shows up here in your favorite section doesn't matter if you run it from this pop-up or if you open up the analytics hub and expand the folders, it'll do the same thing. So what I like about this report is it comes out in Excel and I can see exactly how many minutes the house bill calc is calculating for each student. And if you've watched my other house bill or ad hoc videos, you know, one of my favorite tricks is I switch these drop downs to not equal to because I don't want to mess with waiting for these value drop downs to populate. And I can just quickly say, okay, yes, you get back every kid, but since this report ends in daily absence, the word detail, that means it comes out in CSV nicely. That's usually what that word detail means on the report name. So now I have every student and I could use filtering and I could just filter the elementary building. I just went into high school. I know what kid I'm looking for, so let's look for Booker. So I'm going to find Booker. Now, Booker, Richard Booker, is the one that I put the absence in for all day. And, but he only attends my school 40 minutes. The rest of the time, he's at College Credit Plus. But look what the House Bill Calc is doing. 
it's coming up with 6.25 hours. And that's correct. That's what it was designed to do. It's going to add their percent of time and they're sent to 1% of time and come up with 100%. So it's coming up with 6.25 because that's the full day here at Acme High School. Now, if Richard misses, you know, five days in a row, he's going to quickly hit that 30 hour threshold, especially if they're unexcused. Okay. Um, even if, let's say, he misses seven days this month, he's going to quickly hit that 38 hours excessive absences and the excessive counts excused and unexcused. If you send mom and dad home a letter that says your son missed 38 hours, they're going to say, wait a minute. He only goes to school there 40 minutes a day. How could he have missed 38 hours? There hasn't even been 38 days of school. So that's why for my other student, Bradley, Donald Bradley, notice what the house bill calc got for him. 67. So 67 minutes. Now, how did it get 67 minutes? It took that time in. And if you're, if you're not good at um, time, I'm, I'm not. I always have to use the hours calculator. On the Dazzle portal page, that's the page you see when you first log in, you come over here to this quick link section. There's an hours calculator, and I use this all the time. So I will type in 845, and actually I shouldn't put that in there, 845, and we'll go 925 a.m., that is 40 minutes or 0.67 hours. So if we look back at that house bill report, there's that 0.67 hours. Now, if you're wondering how I got these custom fields on the profile, so I'll come back here and I'll look at Richard's profile. And if I go click on that custom field, I have a video how I added this. Um, I have a video out here in the document section of the Dazzle portal. You scroll down here and in the student, it is called how to add custom fields to the profile video. And you could watch that. It takes you step by step um, with um, adding your own custom fields. And it also gives you hints for how you can get that data out of those custom fields. If you have more questions about CCP students, or you have a special situation that you think might not apply and might be a little different, please send us a ticket. You can email progressbookhelp at metasolutions.net. It makes a ticket for the whole team. And then whoever um, is the best person to answer that ticket will grab it and give you a reply. Thanks, everyone. Have a great school year.